Hello and welcome to another Camp Citizen episode. Today we're going to be talking about some things that I wish I had known about when I first started Star Citizen. I am still constantly learning about Star Citizen and its inner workings. Um, even after three years of playing this game, this alpha I should say, there are still so many things that I did not know about. One of the first things that I wanted to talk about is actually weapons convergent. Now when you have all these weapons, um, when you target something, it basically converges all the weapons automatically to a point that will converge all the weapons into that single point. However, if you're not targeting something, your lasers or guns, whatever, will fire off into the distance, uh, which I found out recently is a distance of 1500 meters, uh, where they will eventually come to a point and they disappear. So the reason I bring this up is that sometimes, especially now with the latest patches, is that you will have to fight ground targets that are not targetable, like those NPCs walking around at like those retrieval ops or those um, those mercenary missions where you can uh, where you have a kill authorization um, to go find a target and uh, neutralize them. You can't target a ground NPC with your ship, um, which is interesting because as soon as you start shooting at them, you hear a little target sound that they are targeting you from the ground, which is weird. Uh, but I think it's more so to let you know that they know you're there, basically, and they, they're pointing their guns at you, but even though they don't start shooting at you yet. So, essentially, um, you can change this setting. You can change the convergence for your guns manually, and this is really interesting. Um, because right now, actually, now that I'm out of quantum, I can show you, if you look, you'll see that all my weapons that I fire are coming together very closely. And that's about 500 meters in front of my ship. Right there. So, if you want to change that, um, I'll show you exactly where to go. So, you're going to go to settings, or you're going to hit escape and hit options. And you've got a whole list of items here that you can change. Um, don't be afraid to go down this list. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, don't be afraid to go in here. You know, not, nothing's going to break your game. It's just going to change how the game works. So let's go ahead and go down. Okay, we got to go down, down, down. Uh, let's see here. I apologize. It was a 100 meters uh, convergence. That's, that's where my guns are firing is 100 meters in front of my ship. That is the lowest you can go. The highest is actually way, way further away, like 50,000. If we change that to 50,000, let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, they, they barely not even, they don't even con converge, right? They're, they go pretty, they go pretty far. Now, visual rendering doesn't let me see how far, you know, I can't see how far they go, even though they're supposed to go 50 kilometers away from my ship. It disappears like right at about like 1500 or so. But that's the default, it's 1500. So yeah, this is a very, very hel helpful thing to have, um, to have the convergence set at a custom distance. Again, I just now keep it at 100 meters, just because, again, I do like to shoot those NPCs on the ground. It makes it really easy. Speaking of weapons, another nice little feature that I did not know about is you can manually gimbal your weapons without having to be targeting something. So if you have gimbaled weapons, you, uh, you might know that if you just press G, it actually turns on gimbal mode. It, you see those little dotted lines, that dotted circle, um, that means you're in gimbal mode. However, you have to be targeting something for those auto gimbals to actually, you know, work. But you can actually manually do it by holding G down. And look, I am actually manually moving the guns along with my ship, of course. So what I can do to prevent that from happening is I can press the right shift and now, look at that. I can actually move my guns 
and all of them are gimbaled right now so you can see even on the wings there on the left they are moving This is actually really helpful if you want to aim at specific items that you can't target, you know, it makes it difficult sometimes to be able to shoot them. This is very, very helpful. Okay. 